Welcome back to another episode of So Unprofessional. This is 130, your host, Mr. Barksdale. Hello, T-Shay's here. And Gus. And uh, we got some topics we're going to talk about today. And, uh, you know, it's Friday. It's Friday. a great Friday. You know what I'm saying? Going into a great weekend. Shout out to the University Alumni Weekend this weekend. I will be there live and direct. I thought it was direct. Direct. Oh yeah, my bad. I will be there live and direct. There you go. That nigga gonna put you in the mouth, but it's still ain't shit. First of all, I'm gonna block it, so I'm not. You just you don't get punched in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Second of all, he a Muslim and I'm a Muslim, so ain't no fight. Thank you. So there's that. That's what I'm saying. You're hating ass, man. You like the night king, man. Every time you just come around, you just want to bring hate and death, man. Just got negativity. That's all a, take your ass back to the night fort, man. This is fucking livelihood right here. Well, I mean, when you get a dragon that blows like ice fire, yeah, you people enjoy. love that dragon, and you're celebratory that the dragon died and came back a zombie. That's what I'm saying. You're, no, I just don't understand the blue flame. The blue oh, flame. You never seen. It perplexes me. You never seen clean fire. No. That's going to be a no I, I for you. you I guess you can. You don't mean it's gas. Huh? Gas, right? All fire. I, well, not all fire, but like yeah. you, a gas fire can be uh, red and yellow too. But like if you ever been in science class when you turn on the little, when you, the, 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 the little, um, that's what it's called, a Bunsen, Bunsen burner. burner. Yeah. You turn on the Bunsen burner, you first turn it on, the flame come up blue. blue. See, you a dickhead. All right. Let's go to the next episode. <laughs> hey, I hate Kyle Lowry. Why? He is like the worst basketball <laughs> player I've ever watched play in the history of basketball playing. That's how you feel? Well, he plays basketball better than you got raps, though. Mm. They might be equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm why just saying. Why you guys so hard, though? You really I'm just saying, <laughs> like, I was just having a flashback rap day. <laughs> and I was just really remembering, like, you got is booty. He's <laughs> light skin. Hey, hey, what they got to do with anything? Nah, sure. is light skin. No, he's not. Nah, he's brown skin. Fucking <laughs> slick head. <laughs> I like saying Jay Z light skin. Get your bitch out of here. Yo. All I'm saying is, and I don't want to keep dwelling on this, but you got his booty. You just really don't like his flow at all, do you? Like do you? Do you? I don't know. I mean, he got a couple verses here and there. Where? Where? <laughs> Spotlight. There you go. Okay. I'm saying yo, he, I, yo, I, I don't, don't even it. know. Yo, I can't even one, say. <laughs> raw, raw, I'm give it to I you. just know no who will let him come in and say a few things here and there. He is an official I'm gonna member. I'm, I'm going to tell you what you got for it. I'm going to tell you who you Acknowledge got. Acknowledge that, man. I'm willing to bet that you got is like the nigga that was really shooting people and selling dope. That they be Again, he about. needs a legal check. Yeah, and, that was and that's what it was. Yeah, that he and always had money. Like ninety five percent of the fucking click of woo was getting a check for that. Because there's no way that you thought that the nigga who said, "Raw, oh, I'm gonna give it to you with those trivia, well, like go get straight from Bolivia," <laughs> you didn't think that was hot. <laughs> It had to start day, daydreaming through his verses. He'd yeah. be like, mm, when you got guys, some shit to do little. When you got a verse, come on, you be Ooh, like. He, he, give me, he makes me want to hear ghosts. And, and yeah, yeah, he inspires us to hear that. When he start rapping, you be like, through. well, Method Man. But every group that. need that. Every group need that. He's, he's an essential It's the yin and the yang, huh? You couldn't have yeah. all that good without some of the bad, huh? Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> What's up? Let's go. All right, man. So first story. And I, I don't I don't understand how people do it. Mm -hmm. Your boy D'Angelo Russell. Who the fuck is that? Oh yeah, his best. slick head. Yeah, he a dickhead. So he plays for the Nets. Mm -hmm. Sixers knocked him out of the playoffs a week right. or two ago. So he gets caught at the airport with Mary Jane. Apparently he had a, a where was he coming a iced from? Iced tea can. Arizona. With a secret he compartment. To, yes. He was no, it wasn't a secret it. compartment. The iced tea bottle was filled with marijuana. No, I heard it was, that was like a, a secret a, compartment. A secret Arizona, cup. Like, you know, the iced compartment tea. cup. Like, you know, you screwed the jump. Okay, out. all right. I mean, and if he was dumb enough to just have it in a cup. In the airport. In the airport. Trying Come to get on the plane. Where? Come back from where? From uh, New York. He was going back to uh, Louisville. So he flew up there to see his connect 
and then come home? Nah, he must have some dirt weed. Oh, no, he he had, it was back. under 50 grams, so it was only like a misdemeanor guy. But what's the point? First of all, but why are niggas still trying to take weed on the plane? Because niggas is stupid. <laughs> like, let's just be all like they ain't got no weed in Louisville. Are stupid. Like, I just want to be real. Like, when they really, I, 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 they ride the plane more than me. I got on, I went to Philadelphia International at 10 30 in the morning and was getting ready to board my flight to New England to see my Patriots. <coughs> when I boarded this flight, they made me step into this contraption and hold my hands up. You were being scanned. While the contraption spun around my, my body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they took my bag and had it slide through some contraption that spun around the bag. Right. Why on God's green <laughs> earth did you think you were going to get marijuana through this scan? Must have been some good weed too. The She's risk. probably been through this a thousand times and never had to go through that. No. What I, what I think is there's NBA players who do this. There's regular people who do this. And D'Angelo listening to their advice, not realizing <laughs> that D'Angelo, he's going to get caught. By, just by nature, the person that he is, he's a fuck up. Well, that might be some of his karma. Yeah. And fucked up shit happened to fuck ups. Absolutely. Think about it. D'Angelo Russell in the locker room with his basketball compadres mm. decides he's going to turn on his Instagram live at the same time that Nick Young is talking about getting chewies and blowing the back out of groupies. Well. <laughs> While Nick Young is engaged with a pregnant Iggy Azalea. Yeah, he kind of, he got some, some and shit. And fucked up that, and, and what do fuck ups do? They, they fuck, fuck up, up shit. <laughs> fucked up Nick Young's whole, whole shit. shit. Now he in trouble. Fucked up Iggy Everybody Azalea about it. whole shit. Mm -hmm. And now they both are ass. Yeah. You feel That's me? That's basically the outcome there. Nick Young comes to the Brooklyn Nets. They win the first game against the Sixers. He starts talking shit. Fucked it up for the whole Brooklyn Nets, and they lose four games straight. He just got some bad juju on him. He's a fuck up. Basically. <laughs> he like the mush from Bronx Tale. You ever seen Bronx Tale? <coughs> You've seen Bronx Tale. You don't gamble with the mush. Well, fuck ups do. So. Like, if the mush is betting on the Patriots. Don't bet on the damn Patriots. I'm rooting for my Patriots, but I already know we lost. And it's certain people that are from this bloodline. I think the, the mush, mush. The mush must have bet on the Eagles that year, or bet on the Patriots the year that. Uh, yeah, that I believe the mush was like, "Oh, this is a sure shot. The Patriots <laughs> got it." And then he like, "Damn mush!" Like I bet Drake bet on the Patriots that oh, year. Oh wow! Drake is a living embodiment of the mush, and so is D'Angelo Russell. And whatever they support is going to hell. Don't support it with them. Look at Toronto Raptors. <laughs> See, and he there. Oh. Toronto yeah. Raptors, since Drake has been a rapper, has been like the number one seed in the East about two to three times. I heard they like him there, though. Well, Toronto as a country is the mush. You know what? The whole damn country, the mush now. Yeah, if you're from Toronto, you're a fuck up. Just Okay. And if you play sports for Toronto, you're going to fuck up. Look at Vince Carter. Oh, Vince he's Carter still been playing. Play, he's been playing he 20 he come, years. He said he's coming back next year. That's right. Coming but he's weird. never been injured as much as he was <laughs> in Toronto. playing in Toronto. Vince Carter's Tracy so McGrady was terrible. Don't do that. Leave Tracy out of this. Until he left Toronto. Well, he wasn't terrible. I'm done here. He just wasn't Vince Carter. I'm not doing this. Doug Christie. Doug Christie? Shut up. I just want to think of enough. everything that goes on in Toronto. Enough is enough. Damon Stoudemire came out like number one pick in NBA draft. Went to Toronto. Trash. Ass. Go to Portland. The man. So maybe Toronto is the mush. Toronto's the Kawhi mush. Kawhi Leonard's still good though. 
Well, he wasn't good no, last he night. Good. He was good. Was they, he? He was good? Did they lose by 30? Did they win or did they lose? No, they they lost by damn near 30. And he was good how? Thank you. He's, See, he, he's, he showed up? Yeah. I mean, he's the only he one that scored. For him. He was the only one that scored. So? No one else scored. <coughs> he played defense. Excuse me, well, he showed up. There he we come, go. He anyway, can play defense on Toronto's there, the mush. D'Angelo Russell is somehow another his family bloodline go back to Toronto. <laughs> oh he's goodness. the mush. They all the mush. Jules Santana has to be related to somebody in Toronto because <laughs> he's the mush. All you niggas that fuck up is the mush. Look, Next segment. Rest in mush. Rest in mush. R.I.M. <laughs> Who have it? <laughs> he tried to run? <laughs> so he had to throw it away anyway. Idiot. Oh, that's why they got it? Yeah. You can't put, you can't bring liquids, you can't bring liquids of any kind. You can't bring lotion, none of this shit. He's the mush! <laughs> that's what I'm saying! Like, He's a dumb jock. That's what I'm saying, you could've... You had it in a liquid container that you're not allowed to take on the plane with you anyway. I mean, <laughs> I mean, <coughs> you're a free agent this year. You're already rich. You should, Why can't you just get weed where you go? This is what I'm Why? saying. <laughs> Why can't you just retire from the NBA and take that? They must have been some shit that was exotic. To take <laughs> He's like, nah, Why fuck this shit. I ain't throw this away. I'm not trying to take this on the plane. I wish D'Angelo oh, would like run for president and like just bring the mush to the White House. Maybe the black people get some reparation. You know what? That yeah. Happened. He's a fuck up. All right, so. Is it more mush stories? No. No more mush tales, please. So this mush is actually uh, no mush tales. <laughs> this one's for TK. Oh shit, TK. Oh what? Cause you would have to explain the mindset. It better not be no ratchet boy here, bitch shit. Not nah. well, half of it. But I, so, I have to explain. So the homie Remy Ma. Oh, oh, okay. Remy Ma is the fucking out. mush. <laughs> you losing your shit. <laughs> Could possibly be going back to jail because she decided she to decided punch to somebody punch out. Somebody this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Remy Ma. But said someone deserved to be punched in the face. Nevertheless, I say <laughs> when you're this. on parole. I just want to say this. When she you're on there. parole and the law has given you the opportunity. First of all, who the fuck shoots somebody? <laughs> Over 2500 Let it go, Elsa, because we passed Go to jail for eight years, come home, Remy. and get richer than what you were Excuse before you me. went to jail. Um, Remy. Okay. So why are we risking that? I don't really think she was intention. She didn't intend to risk it. Like this The Bush girl, didn't intend to lose it. But I don't even really think that's how it went down. And honestly, I forget the girl name, but she was on Love and Hip Hop like or whatever. Britney or something. Britney, Britney Smith. something. The girl said something. But whatever it was, she was popping fly at the reunion and all this shit. Okay. Like, you know, she was being sideways on the show. Okay. But she was only doing it when they were in this type of setting with the cameras. Yeah. When they was off to the side, she ain't never said nothing crazy. All okay, so why do so? <laughs> so at some point, um, I don't really believe she did it, to be honest with you. She did it. She turned face. herself in for doing it. Well, she turned herself in because she's on parole. That don't necessarily mean she played guilty and she did the shit. If I was on parole, I, mean, they I did would say. go the fuck turn myself in too. Because otherwise, they're going to issue a warrant for your arrest and you look guilty. I don't you think they... You look guilty either way. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm, 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 I beg the difference. If I'm on parole and I crack somebody and they press charges, and that's what's wrong my with parole system. officer has to contact me and tell me, that I'm under arrest. Well, the right. good thing, they don't have any video evidence and that's of what this I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This girl, it appears as though this girl is making the story up because she wants recognition. She wants to be a celebrity. Like, nobody gives a fuck about who she is. When she was on the show, it was like, okay, who the fuck are you? I think she was Papa Fly, got punched in the eye. She was Papa that's Fly, what I think. <laughs> she was Papa Fly at the reunion. And she kind of, you know, she was saying some shit she shouldn't have said. She just checked her tone. And I so think- I can completely see, possibly mm -hmm. behind the scenes, you know, she might have got popped. But well, my thing is, if I'm really she asked for it, and someone's begging to be <laughs> celebrity and begging for this attention, I'm not gonna let a bitch ass nigga get no points off me. Right. I guess Pat Peace wasn't mean, there. Huh? And so, and, and so, what? And what I mean by that though is like, when you up and you in Remy position, I don't want nobody to have the space. I don't want nobody to have access to, to me the, like the, that. The, the, the space to say. They went through something with me. Right. So the fact that this is even a conversation of Remy putting hands on her 
means that Remy made herself available, even if it was for a heated exchange of words. You went through something with. I don't really think. I a think bum, they probably was, bum again. Bitch. It's an industry thing. The shit could have got a fucking backstage pass or some extra shit to get into the event and mm-hmm. got close enough to be. I think in the chick the was like of, part of the cast. So. Mm-hmm. Right, but that's what I'm saying. She's she's she was popping flower on the reunion. You know okay, what I'm saying? But everyone pops flower on the reunion. <coughs> Everybody don't get popped in the face though, so. And this person did by a parolee. I don't know how true it is, so I'm going to say deny, deny, deny. Well, but she got TK, popped don't risk it all out. like that. No, yeah, you. don't risk it all, baby. I'm not on parole. Okay. Just don't, just in you general, don't risk, don't risk it, all. it all. Yeah, okay. Remy Ma is the mush. Don't come in my space. Remy Ma fucks shit up. Papu's gonna have to take yeah. care of them kids. He prepared. <laughs> so it would be the first time. You know, Yo, you know how to hold it down. <laughs> we just said we didn't want to have no more mush tails. Well, and we just got a new mush you tail. You just called it a mush. It's, hold it's up, a yo. mush. Excuse me. Remy's the mush. Remy, Drake, D'Angelo Russell. Stop calling Remy all the mush. mush. I don't agree with that. When we somehow never add a picture of mush to the show, so we just always know. The mush. The mush Remy, that one relative that be like, I ain't scared to go to jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remy, like, and that's the one who called Remy. Like, Remy, you better punch that bitch. And here go Remy. Mush. <laughs> <laughs> you trash for that. No. Next episode. Three, right now, we three for three with mush stories. <laughs> <laughs>this is where you, you know get, how long black people been eating chicken? This is this is why you don't like this is why this is when you start to despise colonizers. <laughs> Absolutely. Because since the origin of cooking chicken been cooking chicken been cooking they chicken. They're gonna keep telling us we doing shit wrong. Everyone knows that you're supposed to soak the salmonella off, off the, the fucking motherfucking chicken. chicken. And what are you soaking in? You're soaking it in. I mean, some people use like soap water. Some people use like vinegar and hot water. There you go. You understand what I'm saying? And you contain the salmonella to the hot water and it gets cleaned out by the vinegar. And then you dump the water and rinse the chicken and then prepare it for for cooking. cooking. So and then get that little spray bottle of cleaner. And so if you get all that shit, that's it. First, regular dish Your detergent. Your dish is not supposed to be around. Hot ass water will kill salmonella out the sink. And so and my little you spray bottle demons, of Lysol feels better. Lysol wipes <laughs> you fucking demons <laughs> want us <laughs> not to cook the chicken, clean the chicken, mm-hmm. so we can fry oh, or bake we, the we chicken. We frying the chicken and we gonna get fat and cook, get cholesterol Yo, and shit. Nigga. We not cleaning it right. We eat too much of it. Now it's full of hormone. Like what? Y'all just don't want niggas me, to have chicken. Let me ask you this question. Cause you, 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 I'm obviously, chicken. obviously you cook more than me and Gus. Mm-hmm. Does it hot grease kill germs? Bro, so I just had this talk. Bacteria? I just had this conversation with a friend who used my kitchen to prepare some chicken breast. Who decided not to, pro- he, okay. He, clean, he said he cleaned the chicken, but he was cooking wing dings. He decided to clean the chicken while it was still inside the bag. What are you doing, slickhead? Thank you, because that's that was my response. He's he said, the mush. The chicken is clean. I said, no, bro, it's still in the bag. You got to take it out and put it in another mm-hmm. place and then clean mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, man, the grease going to kill the salmonella off that chicken. I said, I'm not eating that fucking chicken. That's dirty ass chicken. This is what I say. It is dirty ass chicken. So you were just cooking dirty ass chicken? Yes, but I but am a firm that believer the that the grease at like the 190 degrees dirty chicken. is going to fry the salmonella off the chicken. I mean, if you want to pre-season your meats and salmonella, salmonella that's your right choice. Ahead. Right. I see plenty of people do it at cookouts all the time. No, nah, not in my Oh, house. yes. They, them dudes come straight from the market, take their chicken out the pack, 
toss it on the grill. No, I think the, enough heat is going to kill it, though. Yeah, it is. And, and that's but it just don't thing. feel good while it's just sitting in the pack, just I mean, laying just in the salmonella sanitary. juice. <laughs> it's just not <laughs> sanitary. Like, Let me tell y'all something. Okay. Don't give me none of that fucking chicken. You already had some. Okay. I have not. You, you showed up I to the I have cook never cabinet. eaten chicken from anybody's cook. I don't play that game. Boom, bye, bye, and number Bro, two boy head. My people, them, mm-hmm. clean off all the food. All so, no. the Ross Clark team. All the damn food. <laughs> Everything, man. And I got yam it if it's not clean. Mm-mm. Me, I come by your yard when you cook out. And I come to my yard. Me, I come Mm-mm. to my yard, yeah, purple rain scene. <laughs> Negative. All things sell off. <laughs> 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 So apparently, <laughs> unnamed sources have said that your boy Justy Smollett oh, niggas, right. is suicidal. So why would he be suicidal? He beat his kids. Oh, oh shit! Was I supposed to say that? I, hold up, you did I say no? So? They're saying he. Oh, uh, they said they right. say he's very depressed because so his acting career might be over. You put it on the greatest over? performance it of might your be life. Over? <laughs> I'm talking about bro, 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 bro. <laughs> might you acted like? <laughs> You got beat up. The gay Tupac. I no. am the gay Tupac. No. Okay. He's the motherfucking gay six Pac. Because <laughs> that won't forget me, Tupac. You I mean, he got to be from Toronto. So he's <laughs> six Pac. Yo. Yo. Hold on. Is the homie oh. T.O. What's his name? T.O. Lifestyle that's always on our Instagram. Is he from Toronto? The Canadian, oh, Canadian, the Canadian dude. Who? Not Canadian, Jamaican. Who? Um, not f- from Toronto. I know Toronto. he's Jamaican and shit. Is he no. from like Qu- Qu- Quebec? Cause I'm not. <laughs> uh, Montreal or something. If he's from Toronto, he the mush. He's <laughs> talking about people up there, so. Mm-hmm. I, don't think, I don't know. No, but anyway I don't though. With that space. Jesse Smollett, this is what I want to say to Jesse Smollett. Mm. First of all, you're a victim of too much dick eating. <laughs> Absolutely. Because you thought in your own mind, like, I don't even know how motherfuckers come up with this shit. I just want you, just to think about this shit. We chilling at my crib, and I'm like, yo, son. <laughs> that's what I need, that's what I need you to help me with. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Because you know he talked to somebody before he <laughs> actually went out. He had to think this shit out loud and talk about to, it and discuss it. And be like, yo, y'all gonna do this and no, all No, no, not before he even called them. Oh, He okay. was with his, so he was just brainstorming. his gay entourage. And was like, so and I would like to say there's nothing wrong with being homosexual. It's fine. I, that's it. I didn't say it was anything. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. All right, so it's so uncomfortable. Just and in case. And yeah. so he say, "Yo, son, <laughs> where was born? I think I should." Uh, you think they was getting high at the time? They probably was. Doing yeah, this is a hot conversation. conversation. Yeah, this is a hot conversation. <laughs> no, you, see, you, know, you see, I'm slow yeah, down in my voice. Some high behavior. <laughs> let me let me act yeah. it out. Let me act it out. We gonna act it out. Put put the put the thing there. <laughs> Jussie Smollett <laughs> plans his attack. Oh, and he's he gonna be like, yo, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't care how I'm saying oh, yo, son. Because oh, 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 oh. I'm not really just a small man. So wait, guys. <laughs> it probably went something like no, that. No, 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 this is no. what we're gonna do here. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm so act- this sounds really good. I'm, no, I'm acting it out not as Jesse Smollett, but as me. As and not doing gay, something Jesse Smollett. But just doing some <laughs> dumb me, shit. Playing <laughs> some dumb shit. All right. That Jesse Smollett did. Okay. So this is before I call the goons that sell me oxy and weed. So right. I'm talking right. to the squad. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, son. This, hold up. This some good shit, man. Yo, son. <laughs> yo, word, yo, word is born, son. That motherfucking um. Where the fuck you come from, Charlotte? That motherfucking um show, bro. The uh-huh. motherfuckers don't be like give me enough screen time so I can get some money, son. So what you gonna do? Yo, I'm thinking like the niggas that just dropped the, the pills and that weed off to us and shit. Yeah. I think I should like pay them niggas to fuck me up. And then I blame me like on some racist motherfuckers and it'll become like a national tragedy. Yo, yo, yo. You should get them, have them wear MAGA hats. That's what I'm thinking. And then. Yo, and, that would be dope. And then I'll become like the talk of America. And so it gets you buzzing. Yeah, and then I yo, yo. My, and then I get my own show. Spin off. Yo, but 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 you be like the the gay Tupac. <laughs> All right, I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you be like the gay Tupac. That like so. <laughs> I'm looking at, didn't that shit just sound stupid? 
Yo, yo son, I'm, I'm here and I'm listening to it and I'm trying to stay in character, but I'm like, nah. thank you, yo, yo, son. I definitely would have probably been yo, there, friend, and be like, yeah, y'all niggas tripping. Yo, son, I'm gonna pay the niggas that just dropped off this. You weed gonna pay the Molly. boys that just dropped the off the weed in my the, the blackest niggas I know <laughs> from Zimbabwe, the, 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 the Nigerians that act like white to, people to fuck me up and then say MAGA, MAGA, MAGA country, and then I will be. The talk of America, and then I get my own show, and then I put y'all niggas for on the like show. two weeks. Now what? Well, that was until they found the Nigerian. That's not like who two weeks. The whole it lasted story. like a strong two weeks, and everybody. It was like, yo, we gonna send you like, back if you don't tell what? us the truth. And then, bro, and then, bro, how do you sell this to the Nigerians? Easy. You call them niggas up like, yo, my. They nigga. are they are starving artists. You Remember, they are um, aspiring said, actors. He texted niggas like, yo, and this is one of his tweets, yo. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the Molly and weed. I gotta talk to y'all about some shit on the low. He did that. <laughs> no, he tweeted it. No, no, he texted them. They, they found it in his phone. Yeah, they okay. had the text record. I gotta talk to you about some shit on the low. And then they get together and they're like, hey, yeah, my friend, what do you need? I'm like, yo. I need y'all to put I need y'all on. to fuck me up, right? And okay, then, rob me. And then, and then rob me and then say MAGA country. But the thing is, they caught these idiots buying. The things that they wore to rob them. Yeah, because they had to get in character like Malibu's most right. wanted. So they had to go to like the Because Jesse was like, look, it's a spot right around the corner. You can get all the shit. All it was yeah. right here. <laughs> like what? You can get the hat. You can get the rope. Yeah. At the end of the Only day. Only in America. Jesse Small Only in America. is the mush. He is, for this shit here, yeah. He He's the, the mush. mush. And he, he fucked up stayed. their career. He fucked up his shit and his. Because he really could have just stayed in his position on Empire and let that shit mm-hmm. play out and then... He probably would have got called for something else. I knew Jesse Smollett was the mush when I never watched Empire. Mm-hmm. And the one day I'm chilling with this woman and she says, hey, Empire's dope. You should watch it. So I'm thinking, well, I'm going to get some ass anyway. So Might let me well. post up and watch Empire. So it comes on. I'm not really paying attention to the shit. Then all of a sudden this song comes on. So you drip dropping. And everybody... Jigging to it. <laughs> and then the nigga's like, this is how it feels when Oh, yeah, yeah, that's one, that's the one, that's the one. And I said, what the fuck? <laughs> Cause, and that's, that was the setup for the party that he gave. He wanted everybody to be jigging to it, and then he threw it out there. That, he, that yep. was his coming off. Song. And then I. In his moment. Looped the TV. But it was good till he said that shit. And I said, I'm never watching that show again. He just ruined it for me. And that's why he's the mush. But the best thing about it, there's mm-hmm. absolutely no oh, nothing down, wrong down, with being down. homosexual. It was that song. Mm-hmm. Yep, shake your face. Thank all right, man. Thank you all for joining joining us this week. Yeah, I want to thank TK for coming through, kicking it with the guy. Ah, I like kicking it with y'all. You know what I mean? Girl. Shout out Brown Girl, wherever the fuck she at. Brown Girl, come back. We need you. We miss you. Yeah. Uh, She's living her best life. True. I think the moral of this week's episode is don't be the fucking mush. Nah, no mush. Um, we should just have like mush chronicles just added just to the show. More people the mush. The mush. More yeah. Mush, yeah, mush, mush story of the week. Mush of the week. Mush of the week. Yeah, nah, that was nice. <laughs> nah, fucking <laughs> nah, fuck <you>. nah, <laughs> <laughs> Breaking equipment and shit? <laughs> I ain't break shit. See? As soon as I was, that's why I had to get my hand away from you. As soon as I was about to give you some. about to, and then you just break nah, the, the energy was wrong. Yeah, the nah. mush. You need to pass the mush. mush I'm mush, telling you. Mush all, all, all over the people, man. Just hate light like, skin niggas. You're a mush master. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, TK. Never. you like, TK, would, why don't you join us on the show? Solid. See? Solid. This is what I, I get in return. I love you. Kinda. Whatever. It's all right. Mush potatoes. All right, man. Make sure y'all check us out on So Unprofessional Show on Instagram. Check it out. We everywhere on every platform. Shout out Headquarters Media for the job that they do. They shout do out a high job. Shout out. Shout, shout out Stay Talking Ish. Shout out all the dope shit that we do. Shout out to Got all it. the fam that come through and support. Love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate it. Glad y'all watching the show. Give us feedback and uh, talk to Gus about this dumb ass shirt, man. This is like the fourth shirt we had to get back with Gus. This is a nice shirt. Gus, this is, you need to just get a, a nice so, shirt. You need to get a so unprofessional shirt and wear it. 
You look so unprofessional in this shirt. This is a nice shirt. Look, Gordon Gartrell. <laughs> yeah, original. No, that's Sorry. PR Gordon. <laughs> this is Pierre. Pierre, what is it? Pierre, uh, what's the what's the fucking drink? P, uh, Pierre, Pinot Grigio. P, you said Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio. <laughs> oh, oh man. All right, I'm tired. Peace. <laughs>